what is up guys and welcome back to the channel i hope everybody's having a great one and today we have another great keeps video for you guys i finally made it to diamond so of course i'm going to be using my grave keeps again which i figured it would be a tough thing to do in diamond but the one thing i did add was someone suggested it goes and match that should really deal with sword souls a lot and i have been playing them so i kind of know how they work out because before i kind of didn't know what was happening they would just swarm the board and then i was completely screwed but now i have a little bit more of an idea of how to deal with it and i'm going to be showing you guys an awesome gameplay that i had in my first match in diamond so if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to it for some more awesome gameplay and make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of my grape cube step because i honestly think that it can do very well in diamond and hopefully i could reach diamond one but nonetheless let's hop right into it so of course this is my first match in diamond five and honestly i have a pretty good starting hand here of course thrown get commanding out because i need a necro valley big time so of course gonna pot a duality and get my second grave keeps which honestly is amazing of course gonna use the effect to get necro valley out and place it on the field put out the spiritualist and royal tribute I uh, gotta love that when they freaking dump their hand. It's one of the best things. Of course, we got Starlight Road. If he wants a Harpy's Feather Dust or anything. Opponent had nothing. Past turn. So, we get another throne, which was pretty awesome. And honestly, I think I slightly misplayed because I probably should have just special summoned Supernaturalist. But I didn't. I just thought I would just have a couple beat sticks out there and just keep attacking his life points. But, soon. Ah, something a little iffy happens. So I was like, all right, cool. What's that back roll? I'm pretty sure I could take game right now. No, I cannot because I'm going to eat 2,000 to the face. But of course, I can attack for 1,800. So I was like, all right, cool. One more turn and it should be GG's. Unfortunately, this game goes on for, I believe, 21 turns. And you're going to see why. It's pretty insane, actually. So I'm going to pot a duality just to search out what i could get goes and match figured it could be useful nope battle fader this is where it gets interesting because he's going to use one of the cards that i use against me moon mirror shield i did not know it worked like this so basically we both have moon mirror shield so it's like which one beats out which i guess the one that attacks actually gets the buff is what i'm led to believe from that interaction but I'm not too sure because, as you could see, that's just what happened. So I'm guessing that's what happens. I'm not 100% sure on that. But here soon you'll see what ends up happening with this match. So, of course, he takes out my second monster. And I'm like, all right, cool. So at this point, you can't attack my monsters because that thing doesn't get a buff unless he attacks a monster. So I'm like, all right, cool. What do I need to do here? So I figured I'd get this just in case he gets another monster on the field, which I should be able to say. So summon it and then take enough damage, deal enough damage, I mean, to take the game. But of course he does not. He just puts it in defense mode. So, ooh, Spectre Border with Moon Mirror Shield. So, of course, it works out in my favor because I'm the first to attack. And then he takes that L right there. And I was like, all right, sick. So now I'm like, all right, next turn. I got this. I got this in the bag right now. I'm going to take this dub without a doubt. Oh, evenly matched. Are you serious? Okay. And he darks holes. Of course, I'm like, are you serious, dude? I was so freaking close. I was one match, one turn away. But he got me right there. So, of course, I thrown. Then get a command in again but this time i'm just trying to attack the face all right sick he has 300 i'm pretty sure i could win this right about now but 
course. Who has two dark holes? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. All right. So, he has a face down. I'm worried. It's possibly Moon Mirror Shield. I mean, uh, Mirror Force or something along the lines of that. So, I'm very worried about it. But, of course, we're going to get the Dino Wrestler out right here. I'm kind of worried. But, go ahead. Just attack. He has an Ash Blossom face down. And then I'm going to set that, even though I can't use it because I don't have Necro Valley or a Grave Keeps monster. Either way, trying to bait it out. Let's see what we can do. This point, okay. Got the Regeki. Let's get it. Then, attack for face. Oh, yes. I was so worried, honestly. I was like, I don't know what that card was. But I was hoping that he wasn't saving it to just kill me at the end or try to take face damage i don't know either way that was my first match in diamond i'm gonna continue grinding to get to diamond one so you're gonna see some more grape keeps gameplay soon but i hope you all enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you made it this far but i'll catch you on the next one peace